With his recent victory against Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois has cemented his place among the current top heavyweights. Once a small-time fighter from Greenwich, he is finally living his dream. It took him years to get here, years filled with hard work, dedication, success, defeats, and most importantly, invaluable lessons learned. Are you ready? This is Daniel the Dynamite Dubois. Born in Greenwich, UK, Daniel Dubois' path was forged by the influence of his father, who recognized the fire within his son from an early age. Under the watchful eye of his father, Dubois began training, and the boxing gym became a second home. Dubois had around 75 amateur bouts. He dedicated a year and a half to the Great Britain elite setup in Sheffield, representing England in the ring around a dozen times. His journey took him to the European Youth Championships twice, where he shone brightly, capturing gold medals and showcasing his talent on a prestigious stage. As a member of the Great Britain Olympic team, he had his sights set on the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Yet, he chose to embrace the professional circuit instead, signing with renowned boxing promoter Frank Warren, ready to forge a new path in the world of boxing. I'm feeling good. I feel ready to show my talent, show, show my ability in the ring. Dubois' first fight as a professional was a knockout win in the first 35 seconds of the first round against Marcus Kelly in April 2017. First professional engagement. How spectacular is he going to look? Let's see if he can produce that trademark. And that big shots. Oh, but there's Dubois. Lovely left up there, John. Well, caught by the left hand, and he's in trouble and gone down inside the first few seconds. With a statement made in his first pro fight, Dubois exploded onto the scene. That's the performance from the young man who makes it two out of two. On the path many times, very, very strong. Most of his fights rarely made it past the second round, as his ferocious power and relentless style overwhelmed opponents. Oh, oh, yeah. low with that left hand. And another one. Oh, and he's caught him with the left to the jaw. Follow oh, great shot, right hand he won. In July 2019, facing Nathan Gorman, Dubois dominated for five rounds. Trick atmosphere. He's not going to have to go looking for Dubois. I think Dubois made the little adjustment. Good jab there from Dubois and a right hand. Oh, he's looking to unload here, Dubois. Gorman knows he just can't make any silly mistakes. It was up for grabs, most definitely, but the second round was a good round there for Dubois. Oh, Dubois big right hand from Dubois and then finished things off with a brutal knockout to improve his record to 12 wins, 11 by stoppage, and win the vacant British heavyweight title. Yeah, do it through yeah, boxing, yeah, that's the point. Oh, oh, hello. Well, he's done it. And he's out. Triple D, Daniel Dynamite Dubois. With a perfect record of 15 to 0, Dubois rode high as the Commonwealth and WBO international heavyweight champion. Last year has been a uh, very you know, a breakout year for me and I've won, you know, important titles to get me up the rankings and not just that, add, you know, credibility to my, you know, profile and it's raised my profile. You know, a wider boxing, boxing audience has, you know, just not just in England, but the world is starting to recognise me more and who is this Dubois kid and uh, it's, been, it's been exciting really. However, his first defence of the titles would result in his first career loss. Shouting out from somewhere in just yet. In late 2020, Dubois faced Joe Joyce in a grueling bout. Went through thin air. He's got it at this point. Sure, that's a good right hand from Dubois. He's looking for him now. Suffering from a broken orbital bone, Dubois ultimately took a knee in the 10th round, marking his first professional defeat. But he's probably not working hard enough and he's just being outworked a little bit. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. The loss raised question marks over the future of Daniel Dubois, especially the manner in which it came. Many labeled Dubois a quitter and undermined his chances of making it at the top level. Yet, despite the setback, his story was far from over. Let's go to work. Two 
After a layoff of over six months since his fight against Joyce, Dubois returned to the ring on June 5, 2021, to face Bogdan Dinu. He wasted no time in showcasing the ferocious knockout artist he had been before. Looking confident from the first bell, Dubois found his target with ease. Towards the end of the first round, Dubois staggered Dinu with a powerful combination, but the Romanian quickly regained his composure. However, the writing was on the wall. Dubois exploded into action as soon as the next round began. With Dinu seeking refuge on the ropes, Dubois landed a short right hand that lifted him off his feet and ultimately signaled the end of the fight. Next, in his U.S. debut, Dubois faced Joe Cusimano. Dubois came out aggressive and chopped at his opponent. He's wasted no time. The first knockdown came in response to Cusimano landing his own punch. Dubois roared back with a series of right hands that dropped his rival. Kusumano gamely continued, but Dubois launched a flat-out assault, scoring a second knockdown. The American was allowed to continue again, but had barely risen to his feet before Dubois sent him crashing back down. We'll try to close the deal. Kusumano back, but down he goes again. With two dominant performances back-to-back, -back, Dubois was firmly on course for the WBA regular title, setting the stage for an impending showdown against American boxer Trevor Bryan. Daniel Dubois! Next, Dubois faced Trevor Bryan at Casino Miami in Florida. The fight started with a dominant opening round for Dubois, who landed punches at will. Brian barely threw a punch in the first three minutes and seemed to land nothing of note. In the third round, sensing his opponent's vulnerability, Dubois began to unleash a flurry of blows. It's a great shot by Dubois that has Brian going backwards and he's still 20 seconds left here. Although Brian managed to survive the round, the pressure was mounting. For the first time, the right upper gut might well have snipped. Dubois knew he had little to fear heading into the fourth, and he intensified his assault. To do what happens in the rematch between... A powerful left hook sent Brian stumbling into the ropes, signaling that the end was near. Shortly after, Dubois delivered the final punch of the fight. This victory not only crowned Dubois as the WBA regular title champion, but also made him the mandatory challenger to unified heavyweight champion Oleksandr Usyk. However, a shot against Usyk wouldn't come for Dubois just yet. In the meantime, Dubois kept his gloves warm by staying active against other worthy challengers. Six months after claiming the WBA regular heavyweight title, Dubois set to make his defense against Kevin Lorena, who would prove to be a tough test. The fight began with Dubois looking extremely comfortable as he threw out his jab to establish an early rhythm. Then, all of a sudden, disaster struck. It's been a feeling out process here. As the pair got close in an exchange, Lorena landed a left hand that knocked Dubois off balance, causing him to overextend his leg and injure his knee. 
Looking unsteady on his feet, Dubois was dropped two more times and was saved by the bell. What a punch that was! Absolute beauty. And right, Daniel Dubois down again. These are very troubling times. A sensational victory here. Dubois lands the left hook, but he's so off balance. And he's down for the... Despite his injury, Dubois came back strong in round two, walking Lorena onto his shots and slowing down the pace. Good shot, left hand, that's in there. Got to get back wheel on those straight shots. There. In round three, Dubois turned the fight around, knocking down Lorena. Before ending things with a powerful combination. You know, it's it's my time. It's definitely my time, you know. Music's been a great champion. And um, as I said before, everything with the beginning has to have an end. On August 26th, 2023, Dubois challenged unified heavyweight champion Oleksandr Usyk in Wrocław, Poland, for Usyk's WBA Super, IBF, WBO, IBO, and the ring titles. Before the fight with Usyk, Dubois changed trainers for the fourth time in his career, splitting from Shane McGuigan to work with Don Charles, who was best known for developing Derek Chisora. With Charles in his corner, Dubois was poised to face one of the best fighters in the world, stepping into a high-stakes battle that would test his resolve and skill. This matchup against the undefeated Ukrainian champion was a daunting challenge, but Dubois was determined to prove himself, ready to test his mettle against the elite of boxing. 100% I'm ready. You know, we're ready to rumble. You know, this is it. You know, bring them titles back home. Bring them belts. Usyk took control of the early rounds as Dubois struggled with a slow start. Dubois looked to pick up the pace as the fight went on. However, his momentum came crashing down in the fifth round when Usyk dropped to the canvas following a punch that was ruled a low blow by referee Luis Pabon. Usyk ultimately used 3 minutes and 45 seconds before the fight resumed. Dubois looked to have Usyk hurt in the 7th round. However, the Ukrainian recovered brilliantly, forcing Dubois to take a knee in the 8th round. Dubois beat the count, but he only delayed the inevitable. With the momentum fully on his side, Usyk finished things off in the ninth round. Dubois and many observers believed the low blow was a legal punch and the delay gave Usyk the time to recover. No, I didn't think that was a low blow. I thought that landed and I've been cheated out of victory tonight, bro. In late 2023, the Saudi takeover sent shockwaves through the boxing world, fundamentally reshaping the landscape and setting the stage for monumental clashes. Dubois found himself at the center of this revolution, slated to face Jared Miller, the man who stood undefeated in 26 fights. In December 2023, on the star-studded December card featuring Anthony Joshua versus Otto Wallen, Dubois stepped into the ring against Jarrell Miller. Dubois, with his speed and footwork, took charge from the start of the fight.
Miller found some success in the second round, appearing to put the Brit in trouble. He needs something to build from the bar with his head. Yeah, I noticed that too. But that's up to the referee. This is a However, Dubois bounced back in the third, launching powerful shots to Miller's face and body. As the fight progressed, Dubois grew increasingly dominant. Miller was trying to fight and zeroing in on the right hand. We're around seven scheduled for ten. And Miller was tailor made for me. I, I love guys. The decisive finish finally came in the tenth round, sealing a memorable victory for Dubois. Dynamite to Next, Dubois would face IBF top-ranked contender Philip Hergovic, the man other heavyweights had avoided. The undefeated Hergovic, boasting a record of 17-0, had previously defeated another top contender, Zhile Zhang. This made the fight with Dubois highly anticipated, as both fighters were looking to solidify their status in the heavyweight division. And has a shot at the interim both men showed plenty of aggression in the opening round. This is money so far for Hergovic. He's going looking for that thing. This is not going three rounds. This, this is not going this, this. The next few rounds saw much of the same. However, Hergovic's right hand was starting to cause problems for Dubois. Dubois fired back, and by the end of the third round, he had opened up a cut on Hergovic's face. The blood began to build up around Hergovic's nose and eye, with Dubois enjoying another good round in the fourth. In the seventh round, Dubois pushed Hergovic back onto the ropes with a big right hand. Another flurry followed, with Hergovic beginning to look tired. Joshua in September. Well, he's only got six rounds. Again, just before the end of the round, Dubois rocked Hergovic with a deadly combo just before he was saved by the bell. However, it was just a matter of time before the Brit finished things as he charged at Hergovic at the start of the eighth. The win meant that Dubois was the IBF interim heavyweight champion. On June 26, 2024, Dubois was elevated to full IBF champion following Oleksandr Usyk vacating the title. It was soon announced that he would make his first title defense against former two-time unified champion Anthony Joshua at Wembley Stadium in London. Daniel Dubois is now currently IBF heavyweight champion of the world and I've been called in to come and challenge him for it. Joshua was seen as the man on a career resurgence, having won his last four fights, including a brutal knockout of former UFC champion Francis Ngannou. With this momentum, Dubois was considered the heavy underdog heading into their matchup. Going down and then coming back up again. If he wants to swing, let's go now. No disrespect, bro. Let's go. From the start of the opening bell, the more aggressive Dubois took charge and already had his compatriot in trouble within the first few seconds. Dubois. 
Dubois immediately started boxing aggressively and knocked Joshua to the canvas at the end of the first round with a huge overhand right to Joshua's chin. Joshua dragged himself back to his feet and the sound of the bell gave him spare time to recover. At the start of the second round, Dubois went back straight into action, charging at his man. A beatdown followed, with Joshua hanging on by a thread. At the end of the third round, Dubois wobbled Joshua with a brutal combination and looked for a moment like he had him helpless against the ropes until the bell came to the rescue. However, it was a delay of the inevitable. After two more knockdowns to kick off the fourth round, Dubois dominated Joshua in brutal fashion, yet AJ survived. However, Dubois wouldn't let his opponent make it past the fifth round. To the shock of the boxing world, Dubois retained his IBF heavyweight title. The win over Joshua took Dubois from a fighter many saw as a little above average at best to one of the top heavyweights in the world, putting him in line alongside the likes of Oleksandr Usyk and Tyson Fury. A rematch with Joshua has been mentioned, however, nothing is confirmed yet. Still, Dubois will want to be very smart in picking his next opponent. Now that he has all the momentum on his side, he will do best to leverage it to his advantage. From the streets of London to becoming a phenomenon in the boxing world, Daniel Dynamite Dubois has established himself among the current top fighters, and he looks to be getting better and better. The boxing world can't wait to see what he does next.